Hi. Hello, ma'am. How are you? I'm good. So, hi, Muskan. Uh, you gave CAT twenty one, right? Yes. It was good. I scored a ninety eight point two two percentile. The journey with IMS has been great. I mean, uh, when I started, I wasn't really confident whether I'll be able to make it. Mm-hmm. But the faculty was very supportive, not only informative, but they were very supportive and knowledgeable. So they encouraged us throughout, and even the IMS material was really nice. Like. the modules that we had they covered the concepts really well so apart from the class we could you know always go back to the modules and revise everything mm-hmm. so that that has been great and the uh, you know general environment they made us very comfortable and the classes were also very interactive so you know i would never shy away from asking doubts or clearing anything that was there on my mind the mock's lowest score was a 55 percentile the 10th academics i scored a 10 cgpa and 12th was a 97% in commerce definitely i mean it was pretty much a rocky road now you can see that from my lowest mock percentile only so i mean initially i thought my va was great okay. so you know i was very confident with va but then in a uh, sim cat so i got i guess i got a really bad percentile a score of about 0 i guess mm-hmm. so it went really bad and then we talked about it at the center i guess in that particular sim cat everybody had scored bad particularly with the va section so but there have been a lot of ups and downs and then ever since that you know i felt a lot a bit under confident with okay. va because and then you know the scores always kind of went up and down like they were never stable but by the end they were but throughout the journey there were a lot of ups and downs i guess um QA I was not very confident with geometry so it was always a problem area but uh I kind of you know identified that it is not my strength so I finally decided that I'm not going to do it okay. I think that that was a good decision because I was very worried about it and even you know when I used to study it I knew that I would I was not able to solve any question with the support of the faculty you know my friends and mentors I guess um obviously you know you do get under confident a lot of times you feel demotivated when you get bad scores you know you feel that you're so working hard and i don't know you're not seeing the results so na matlab koshish karne pe us time nahi ho raha tha ha matlab there was a period suddenly you know sometimes you were scoring such great marks in mocks you know i'm the first mock i gave i scored a 95 percentile so okay. i was like wow matlab i didn't study anything i matlab till, till that time i think it was pretty early it was what february i guess and i had just started preparing i was like wow i'm getting a 95 percentile that's great i can do it and then without preparation <laughs> as time passes so you know you get low scores sometimes you get high scores but i guess it's all a part of journey i think i would just say two things the first is that identify your strengths and know your weaknesses as well like in my case i knew that geometry was something i could not do you know so i just left it which was good for me so you know similarly do not just force yourself that if you're not comfortable with a particular thing it's not necessary that you have to do everything because at the end of the day you're not supposed to solve the entire paper right so you can just you just have to know what you are good at and you can you know just work on your strengths and i'm not saying just do not do anything on your weak weak areas definitely work on them as well but know something that okay this is not my zone so i'm not going to focus that much on it very right very right so And, please continue uh, so the second thing would be just that ki you know a lot of people tell you you're supposed to study like 6 hours a day 10 hours a day i mean you know everybody is different so there's not a particular standard that you're supposed to follow just know what is right for you like in my case i would study consistently for 2 hours a day and it worked for me at the end i did study i did put in more hours but usually it was just 2 hours a day sometimes less or sometimes more but on an average it was that so yeah just know yourself yes uh, truly pointed out like consistency matters the most you know number of hours can vary so and what about your gdp i plan now like have you started preparing Yes, I started the GDP preparation. Okay, great. So thank you so much, Mustan. 
uh, i hope you get the best in school and uh, then we will celebrate together thank you so much